We're on a slant today. But hello, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, I'm Haley. I am a college junior studying accounting and finance, so I make a lot of college content on my channel, mostly vlogs, and I post a new video every single Saturday, so be sure to go subscribe so you never miss an upload. Today is Monday. I'm gonna make this really quick because I'm just waiting for my car to warm up and I'm late today. I have work at eight and then I have class later. I'm double fisting today. I have a smoothie in this cup. I have coffee in this cup. Um, the smoothie is like some type of fruit frozen mix with chocolate protein powder and oat milk and then coffee is coffee. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna head to work. Okay, once again, I am late. <laughs> I got out of work 20 minutes late, so I just got to campus. I have class at 3, so I'm gonna head over there. The fact that it is September 26th and I cannot wear a sweater is kind of frustrating, but you know what? We're working with it. It's it's okay. Am I, like, probably getting sick? I'm pretty sure I am because I keep sniffling, so that's not fun. It's, like, literally an hour or so later. I'm already out of class. Got out of class, like, half an hour early. Thank freaking goodness. I was originally going to stay on campus because my class gets out at 4.15 and I have to go on a Zoom call at 5 today. So I was like, oh, that's not going to be enough time for me to get home and get settled. So I booked a study room in the library and I was going to take the Zoom call there. But now that I have some time to drive home, I'm going to go home for the day. Especially because I don't have a lot of schoolwork to do today and I also just feel so congested right now and I'm definitely getting allergies or getting sick or something and I don't have any type of like allergy medication on me or anything so I'm just gonna go home okay. my zoom call was done in like 15 minutes I need to speed through Target right now because for some reason I decided to go even though I know that my family is having dinner at 6 and it's currently 535 I was like I have to go to Target now or I'm never gonna go the reason I need to go to Target today and not procrastinate till tomorrow is because my parents anniversary is tomorrow i as the only sister that has a vehicle um needs to go and get a little card for them find some little gift cards little, little something it's their 24th wedding anniversary and i also need to pick up coffee but that's uh that's just a recurring issue okay i have two bottles of the still cold brew i found a card for my parents and then a gift card to a restaurant that I've gone to with them. I also got vanilla bean creamer. I tried the pumpkin spice creamer from Coffee Mate and it just, it got old kind of quick. So I got a new creamer. I thought that I would have time to get gas today and I keep procrastinating it. And I am about to procrastinate it until tomorrow because it's already after six and I feel bad ditching my parents for dinner. So I'm just gonna go home. I am home for the night. I don't have much on my to-do list. The main thing that I had a goal to do was a two mile walk because I am in a health class this semester and for it, I have a one mile walk test tomorrow. And for someone that is not in shape, such as myself, those are a struggle to to get a good time to pass. So I did this two weeks ago. I went to the gym after class and walked around this indoor track that we have at the gym and did a two mile walk and then doing the one mile walk the next day actually wasn't like too bad and I was able to get a good enough time to pass. So I was originally gonna do that today and then I ended up just planning to leave campus after my class and I didn't bring like a change of clothes with me and I work in an office so I'm kind of in like, I guess smart casual cause like I'm wearing jeans Jeans, but like a nice top so I would have had to bring a change of clothes to use the gym so I was like oh I'll just do a walk around my neighborhood when I get home it is now dark out so that's clearly not gonna happen I should really just use the gym at school and like schedule time before or after class and just go I am trying that this week I signed up for a 6 30 yoga class on Wednesday we are improving but I do kind of wish I did that walk to make tomorrow easier for me but I also did a pretty good two mile walk Thursday which I feel like some people are probably gonna hear this and be like, Haley, shut up, like you're walking, like it's really not that deep. But like in order to pass this class, like I literally have to speed walk and like I don't run, like I have a bad back, so I don't run, let alone do like any physical activity. Like again, like I said before, I'm not in the best shape. So like having
having to like speed walk around a track or whatever like it takes a lot out of me to do it my main thing tonight is i have a book for my english class that i was supposed to read by last week and i got lucky that this professor is using this book as the book being discussed in class for two weeks and not one so i wasn't concerning myself too much with finishing the whole book for last week like i just read enough to where like i knew the plot and could kind of like follow a discussion and maybe contribute i don't know but this week is the last week we're going to be discussing this book so i kind of want to finish it by the class tomorrow good morning happy tuesday Ooh, there's a big truck passing by. It is currently 7.45. I have an 8.30 class today. I have class all day. I have a club meeting later. So I'm basically gonna be on campus for the entire day because my club meeting isn't until 7.30 tonight. And I'm driving to campus now 12 hours earlier because I have class. I have a coffee this morning. I have the vanilla bean creamer that I got. I just stopped to get gas, which is why I'm late because I was not about to get gas in a college town. It's not that bad. It's like it is that bad it's like a 30 cent a gallon difference between the town i live in and the town i go to school in so i'm obviously gonna get gas in the town that i live in unfortunately that means that i also am a little late and i'm probably about to get stuck in traffic but my first class is like a lecture hall it's a big enough space that i'll be able to just like kind of slip in that's my hope or i hope <laughs> that i just get to class on time that would be ideal but i also hope that this light turns green at some point because i've been sitting at a red light well i won't have to worry about carrying my coffee cup on campus today because she's gone i don't know what it is the days where i'm like sitting in traffic and i have a playlist on that's not really like a sing-along type beat so i'm like okay i'm gonna just sit my coffee while driving and now it's gone before i've even stepped out of my vehicle i swear right now someone is in the left turning lane and it's on a red light and they just open their car door and they're like walking around their car like i don't know what you're trying to do here but if that light turns green i'm going i hate being stuck in traffic this is ridiculous also update since i'm stuck in traffic i might as well talk am i getting sick because i have no freaking clue anymore my sore throat is gone thank goodness i took some allergy medicine this morning i just sound like super congested and i'm really hoping that that goes away i brought cold medicine with me to take before my club meeting tonight because it's like a presentation format and as president of the freaking club i I also need to contribute to that presentation so I can't sound like what I sound like now but I also know that I don't really talk throughout the day so I'm hoping that that gives my voice some time to rest I just I always am in denial when I get sick because I'm always just like this is not a good time it's never a good time to be sick but anytime I'm sick I'm like nah like no way I don't even think I'm sick I think it just might be allergies because the temperature dropped this week I have no idea why is this light still red just picked up a smoothie because I realized I really did not eat breakfast this morning. I forgot to pack snacks to eat throughout the morning because I won't get lunch until after my gym class typically. Figured I'd actually put something in my system. Update, any energy I had in my body is gone after that walk test. I'm done. Okay, I'm back in the car. It's like 6.50. My club meeting is in. 40 minutes i logged on to the presentation for tonight during my last class and i was like oh my god because our club advisor left comments on the slides that i sent to her at the very last minute last night and she was like hey like this presentation might be a little long so i'm like going through it during class i'm texting the other people i'm presenting with like hey is it cool if we cut this out like i was like on my grind for a second trying to get everything together at the last minute but i got done with class like an hour ago i don't think i've said it in this video but i have all my classes Tuesdays and Thursdays so I've had five classes today in total <laughs> but I'm now in the parking lot of Domino's and I'm about to go in and pick up nine pizza pies for my club meeting that's in 40 minutes but I just wanted to share this story real quick because I'm just I'm dumb I went to put my backpack in my trunk because I didn't want to carry it in with me to Domino's but also I didn't want to leave it like out in the open in my car so I put it in my trunk my car keys are in my backpack and so I go to close the trunk trunk doesn't close I close the trunk again trunk doesn't close now I'm like don't even tell me I'm like I don't have the time to deal with any car malfunctions like my car is literally like a little over a year old I purposely got a new car when I did so that I did 
didn't have to deal with any like things going while I'm in school. There was no mechanical issue, I just lack common sense. So my keys are in my backpack that I just put in the trunk, so it's not letting me close the trunk because my keys are in the car and I'm like technically leaving the car. So then I'm like, whatever, like let me see if there's like a button that I can hit. Like I know I have the button in my front seat to open the trunk. Maybe if I hit the button, it'll close. So I go to open the car door and I have like the button on the car knob to open the door. It doesn't open. And then I realized I'm like, I don't have my keys on me. Like the way I was literally in like a fist fight with my trunk and the trunk was winning <laughs> just because I was about to leave my keys in my backpack in the trunk anyways that's my little story i'm gonna go get some pizza and hopefully i get some this time because last meeting so many people showed up that i didn't get any pizza which honestly that's not a bad problem to have because that means that people are actually showing up to my club meetings but i still like to eat i was not kidding <laughs> i have nine pizza boxes that i'm about to carry happy wednesday <laughs> i don't know what this video is at this point i'm sick we've been over this like i've been getting sick since saturday but i kind of just kept telling myself i'm like okay i need to get through two Tuesday like I can't stop and like take a rest day until my club meeting is done because I didn't want to miss that last night the club meeting went well we actually had a really good retention rate the club only meets about once a month it's like different personal finance topics that we'll talk about so I did a lot of marketing ahead of the first meeting and got a lot of new members so with this one I was kind of worried like okay how many people are going to continue to show up because you know there are some people that go to one club meeting because they first hear about it and then they kind of forget about it so I was really worried about that and then we ended up having a really good retention rate like we had about the same crowd that we did at the first meeting last month so it was like score that made me really happy because this has been something that i put like a lot of time into this semester it literally feels like a second job running this club so to see it actually being successful was really exciting i think our only issue was we had like way too many slides set up for this presentation that we did so like we didn't get through all of the information but we're figuring out how to work it into our next meeting that is all said and done that went well. I was gonna end off this video last night and then I ended up staying up late on the couch talking to my sister and then that turned into me sleeping on the couch. And then I woke up at 3.30 in the morning and I just felt so sick. I was like, I cannot go to work today. Like I cannot do it. I take my temperature and it's like a 97 and a 98. And I'm like, what the heck? Like I felt like I had a fever. I felt so sick. I started to calm down and like feel better to where like I was like, okay, I'm gonna take a shower. So like I showered at four o'clock in the morning and then I didn't like actually go to sleep in my bed until 4 30 in the morning and then i set my alarm for like six o'clock this morning because i have accounting homework that's due at one o'clock today and that did not work to get me up obviously because i've been in bed for an hour and a half at this point and so i'm hitting snooze on it for like an hour i didn't get up till seven i had work at eight this morning clearly considering it's nine o'clock and i'm sitting in comfy clothes in my room i obviously ended up not going to work i originally came downstairs like in a cute outfit and was like i'm just gonna push through like i pushed through these last few days like i'm just gonna go and then i was like well i also need to get done my homework for my class today and it's due at one o'clock and i work till two so i need to get this done before i go into work and i'm looking at the time and my accounting homework is like two parts because i'll have to do practice problems and then do the homework so i'm still in the practice problems even now and the assignments due in four hours and i'm trying to do it at the counter this morning and a lot of it is just not making sense and because the practice problems are lined up to the textbook and not what we learn in class because not everything in the textbook is covered in class i'm like what the heck with a lot of these problems and i'm currently trying to figure them out but like i was looking at the homework i still had to do i'm thinking like what i sound like and i work in an office and i knew i was going to be the only one in office today so i was like i'm gonna have to pick up the phone and like if someone calls and i sound like congested so i'm just like you know what i'm gonna call the sick card <laughs> so i have called out because i was sick i have called out because schoolwork is just a lot which either way like i have a very understanding boss which i'm very grateful for where like i called out last wednesday i believe too but that was like solely because of schoolwork like i'm never gonna like say i'm sick when like i'm not but this is a case where like i am sick <laughs> and it's actually funny because literally in like three of my classes yesterday i'm hearing people with like the same symptoms as me like everyone's like sniffling or coughing and i'm like yeah there we go like literally i could probably like pinpoint how i got sick because last thursday i took a finance exam Exam, and so it's a full class so there's people like right next to me and the girl next to me was sniffling the whole time through the test and I hear that throughout the test and 
I'm just like, I'm gonna get sick from this. Like, I know it. Like, this girl is right next to me. And what do you know, Saturday, I wake up with a sore throat. There's definitely something going around and my immune system sucks and I don't get consistent sleep. So whenever there's something going around, I'm bound to catch it. I've pushed through the past few days to get through my club meeting, get through the beginning of the week, but I needed to chill for a second. So I took another shower this morning. As you can see, I washed my hair. I figured it was a good time to wash it because it'll dry like nice and curly and not like slept on. I'm most likely still gonna go to class later. I have a class at three, but I think I'm just gonna like go to class and then come back home. There's really no need for me to stay on campus. Like this isn't a big test week. This isn't a big project week. It's just like getting little assignments done. So I don't have like a lot of stuff to worry about. I mentioned this Monday. I signed up for a yoga class today. Like I'm really genuinely want to start working out. However, I don't think this is gonna be my week to do it because I'm still getting over being sick now. So probably not best for me to try to push myself to work out today. That's what I'm gonna use as an excuse this week. But yeah, that's a little update of what is happening in my life. And since I was originally planning to end this video yesterday, I'm gonna just go ahead and end it today. <laughs> so be sure to give this video a like, subscribe if you're not already. I post a new video every single Saturday. If you wanna follow me on my social media, even though I never really post, my Instagram and TikTok will be in the description down below. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.